<laughs> things I wish I knew before homeschooling 25 years later, by the end of this very short video, you're going to have what you need to help you break the chains of curriculum. And you're going to know where we can team up if that's something that you need. The thing with homeschooling, the thing with teaching is that grade levels don't matter. There are really only three stages of homeschool, and this is going to make sense. So I hope that you stick with me to the end because this is critical. This is why your middle kids will or might be struggling in learning. The first stage of, of homeschool, the first stage of learning are the foundation stuff. It's fun. The kids are like sponges. They're changing toilet paper rolls. They're learning how to put their toys back. They're learning their colors, their shapes, patterns. They're learning that those funny symbols have sounds and you can string them together to make words and you can read the basics of reading. They also learn that those other funny symbols represent numbers and you can do stuff with those numbers, math. So foundations. The last stage is called the launching stage. That's my word for it, but it's the launching stage. It's there's a, a time right around the age 14 can happen sooner or later, but stereotypically right around 14, you can see where your child's headed. Oh, that, that one's headed to college. That one's a musician. That one's a dancer. He's a scientist. She's a mathematician. You can see it. And you can start wrapping academics around what their natural talents and abilities and interests are in a way you have their full attention. You're targeted to help them get to that goal. And they're all in that in between stage, stage number two, I call it the flourishing and fun stage, but most kids are not flourishing. They're not having fun and neither are their parents or their teachers because this is where curriculum causes drama with our kids. And you're going to understand by the end of this. Uh, my name is Becky Saylor and my husband and I have a company called Homeschooling Olympians. It's a life coaching for homeschoolers. Don't worry about that piece right now. If you have kids that are under the age of 14 and they're either struggling or you can see that they might struggle, I'm going to invite you to our free class. It's short. It's less than 30 minutes, but it's targeted to help you save your kids from getting lost in middle school, which is epidemic today. You'll kind of understand why in this presentation, but that class really dives deep into it. And you can find the link to that somewhere around this video. Curriculum. Oh, I have a love-hate relationship with curriculum. It's a set of things that you can teach your kids but it tends to chain people to their kitchen table or their desks and they're afraid to break away because what if what if you don't teach the kids everything that they need to know that can be scary curriculum in itself doesn't take into a, account that each one of your kids is unique and yes those are all five of our sons and my husband and i are in there too each of your kids are not only unique, but some of them are kind of quirky and they all have different learning styles. They have different passions. They have different talents. And most likely they have individual needs that need to be met that are different than their siblings. So what's the problem with curriculum? The challenge is that curriculum is written by people that live very far, far away that don't know your kids, your season of life, where you live. And they don't take into account your kids' passions, interests, and abilities, which means that nine times out of 10, the curriculum falls flat. And I say that because I have five sons. One of my sons, my number four son, loves curriculum. He's our mathematician scientist. He's very academic minded. He loved formal curriculum. The other four, it drained the lifeblood out of them because it steals their joy. It takes up their time in a way that they can't pursue the things that they're very interested in, the things that you could tap into and teach those same academic skills, but the curriculum doesn't give time or space for it. And the reason that your kids look at curriculum and they say things like, what is the point? Why do I need to know that? They are, newsflash, they live in a world within arm's reach of a supercomputer and very likely within arm's reach of more than two. 
These computers, these phones, these devices that your kids have in their hands are more powerful than the computers used to put man on the moon back in the 1960s. And your kids know this. Curriculum and formal education just hasn't caught up with the way that our kids are hardwired to receive information. So if the curriculum doesn't meet them, then they have a really hard time engaging with that curriculum. And you're going to spend a lot of time answering the question, why? Why do I need this? And it's just not okay to always say, because I said so, or just because. They, they need to know why. They are at that stage in life, in that stage two, that they have drive, they have interests. And if what they're learning doesn't fit that, they really, they really start to wobble and have a really hard time. The good news, there's a better way. You can actually build a solid academic foundation while still having your kids delight in learning through hands-on projects. And when you your child feels seen and validated and they're able to hone their skills and crafts in a way that they're proud and excited about, it helps them launch into life in a way that gives them an unfair advantage. Now, this, I know this makes sense. And a, every time I share this, people are like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. But how? Because all I hear about is curriculum. All I hear about is grade levels. All I hear about are the learning benchmarks that kids need to know. I have good news for you. We have a program, Homeschooling Olympians, that has everything that you need to successfully help you homeschool your kids and keep a smile on your face while keeping that sparkle in your kids' eyes. It gives your kids an unfair advantage and makes them champions in their sweet spots of life. What makes Homeschooling Olympians a set apart from the other noise that you'll hear online is that our ability to look at you and your homeschool journey as if you are on a ship in the middle of the ocean and you know something's not working. You're taking on water, but you don't know where you're leaking. This is a problem because left unchecked, that ship's going to go down. And so we have a, we have a program set aside, set up so that you shine a light on the core areas of your homeschooling, identify where there's a leak, and then together we help you patch the hole, bail out the ship, and then set sail in a beautiful way. It's a fantastic way to gird yourself up in homeschool and set yourself up for success. And it's going to save you a fortune in curriculum. Say you have five years of homeschooling left. Did you know that the average homeschooling family in America spends $600 per child per year to educate their kids. That's a lot of money. If you still were going to be homeschooling for five years, that's $2,500 to $10,000 per child over the next five years. That's a lot of money. And most of the time you don't need all of that curriculum. Some curriculum is helpful, but you just don't need all the stuff that people think that you do or tell you that you do. What you're going to learn is that you can eliminate frustration and you will stop spinning your wheels because you're addressing the stage of learning that your child is in. And you might not need homeschooling Olympians to do that as long as you're focusing on the stage of development that your child is in. Focus on build long lasting relationships and connections with your kids and fall in love with sharing life and learning together right? They're not just on their own. You're in this together. So right now, I'm guessing this all makes sense. And you're nodding your head and you're, you're thinking things like, wow, you mean the thing that I dream about, about homeschooling is actually possible? One of the moms I shared this with said, oh my gosh, I can smell the joy of homeschooling in the air. And you might be thinking, I'm going to just toss out all my curriculum, but Becky, what then? <laughs> this is my scientist son. So many people ask these what if questions, but what if I miss teaching all the stuff that I'm supposed to teach? What if I don't cover all the material that I'm supposed to cover? And what if when my kids graduate, 
I have very little evidence of their academic journey, but all I have is this huge photo album of time that we spent together as a family. And worse, what if I mess up their future? What then? And this is this is what I need you to understand because all of those fears, all of those questions, I asked myself along the way. And I did not see all this clearly until we were all the way through our homeschool journey and I was in a coaching call with a homeschooling Olympian mom. And she told me she was ready to put her kids on the school bus and send them back to public school. And we talked about it for a long time and we dug underneath the problem. And what it came down to was she was teaching her kids and expecting them to perform as if they were in the launching stage of homeschooling. But her kids were only eight and 10 at the time. So they weren't flourishing and having fun. Instead, they were being buried by curriculum that was way over their head. Once she saw that, she exhaled like, oh, this makes so much sense. And they've gone on to continue in their homeschool journey and are flourishing in a beautiful way. And that's just one isolated story. I need you to know that when you homeschool to the stage of your child, it's going to feel like you're walking through fog. It's likely that they're not going to learn the same things that their public school peers are learning because you're not going to follow curriculum as if it's the leader of the band. Instead, you're going to be following the child and your children and your family and teaching the things that are important and wrapping academics around that. That may mean that they're not going to test well. If you give them a standardized test, they might not be so standard and they might not get a good mark on that test. My kids never tested well below the ages of 14. And then they catapulted past all their peers. They may not know some of the same facts and figures and trivial events. um, But instead, imagine this, instead, by the time they graduate, this is my number two and my number three son, their eyes will sparkle. They will chase curiosity. Their projects will be the center of their learning, which means that they'll understand that any big thing is a process. They have to go through brainstorming and research and planning and executing and then sharing what you've learned because you're excited. You didn't just waste your time. You did something of value and you can't wait to share it with other people. And they're going to know how to ask for help when they get stuck. Oh my gosh, that gives them an unfair advantage. They're going to be, these are my my youngest three, they're going to be hardworking, excited to learn. Because you've taught them in this way, they're going to be ideal fill in the blank. Students, workers, entrepreneurs, dancers, speakers, writers, just fill in the blank. They're going to be ideal because they're going to have been refined into the best version of themselves. And the reason that they're going to be better at social skills than the general public thinks they will be is because as a family, you're going to be out exploring. You're going to be, as a homeschooler, you talk to people of all ages and stages. Kids aren't just in a square box filled with kids their own ages. They have a wide variety of experiences and it gives them this beautiful ability to talk to people of different ages. But a lot of people need a guide. This is not easy to do because everybody else out there, it seems like everybody else is telling you to do it a different way. Um, Why homeschooling Olympians? This is my husband and I, our five sons and our so far two daughter-in-laws. And we didn't, understand all of this in a way that we could teach it until we got to the end. But these types of things, this is not just theory. We've seen this work with each and every one of our sons and with the dozens and dozens of homeschoolers that we've coached over the last 12 or 15 years. This type of teaching works every single time because your child and your family and your relationships are at the center of everything that you do, they feel loved, they feel seen, they feel validated, which gives them a very teachable heart. And you're able to fill them with all kinds of facts and knowledge that's going to help them with life. 
Now that fear and anxiety is real. I know when we dropped off our youngest son at university just this past year, I remember standing in his dorm room being anxious that he didn't learn enough. You know, he's our dyslexic. He has crippling dyslexia, didn't read till he was 10, spells terribly. And I thought there's no way that this kid's going to thrive in college. And then I overheard him talking to his buddies, his new soon to be buddies. He's on the rowing team and they were talking about um, classes that were coming up. And one of the students, one of his soon to be buddies was saying, oh man, I had to take public speaking. And I just, I'm going to do terrible. And our son looked right at him and said, I will help you rock public speaking. I have won awards for public speaking. And I'm guessing each and every one of you is good at something. And if we all lean into what we're good at and we help each other where we're struggling, we're all going to do great. Um, tell me that's not a recipe for success. Somebody that knows their skill set and is not afraid to ask for help from somebody else that is better at something than them. Yeah, he's soaring like you can't even believe. The fear and anxiety, though, are real. And I didn't exhale until I overheard that. And I'm so thankful that I overheard it. The reality is, is that sometimes the progress is going to feel delayed or you're going to feel like things are going slower than they should because you're concentrating on the immeasurable things, the soft skills, the relationships, the character, the attitude, the life skills, the things that are going to set them up for success. And it can be scary because they might not know what an adverb is. And you might feel less than because you didn't attend to that one thing. This is why you want to look out there and find a mentor that you can trust that's further down the road than you are in your journey. If it's not homeschooling Olympians, and that's okay. We are not the only life coaches out there, but I don't know anybody else that teaches from this level of put these pillars of foundations in place and in, enjoy your children in this way, educate them as you do these things and then watch them flourish. Like that's kind of our, that's, that's our voice. And I hope that you find a piece that works for you. Homeschooling Olympians is set up to help you through your whole journey. There is a six week uh, masterclass that's dripped out over six weeks so that it, the purpose of it is to shine a light into your homeschool ship and to identify where is your ship leaking? Because if you can find, Ooh, it's routines. You don't have an, uh, you don't have a gentle flow in your day and you're, you're like, you're surviving in a constant state of chaos. Let's start there. If you don't, you need somebody to shine, help you shine a light on that area and then give you the skills to patch that hole. So this six week class is meant to do that. It shines a light on your life and your homeschooling, identifies your problem spots, and then gives you the tools and the tricks and the, the skills necessary to patch the holes so that you can flourish. But because it's self-paced, you can come back to it at any time, which is amazing because the first time through, you find the holes. The second time through, you're like, ooh, we fixed that. We better concentrate. So you can go back through it over and over again. The reason it's so important to get help as you're homeschooling through the stages of the three stages of homeschool is that the noise and the peer pressure is so incredibly strong out there. If you happen to search for something online, the algorithms know that you're interested in that subject and they're going to start to send you all the voices. So you have to be very, very careful with who you listen to and what kinds of um, advice you get online. The culture understands that you may want to homeschool your kids when they're six, but the closer they get to high school, the more, the the more loudly people will be screaming at you that you can't possibly homeschool them through high school. But I need you to know that no matter what the voices tell you, if you lean into the stages and you set your foundation straight and you wrap academics around what the kids learn by the end, those same people And the general public are going to be looking at you and saying, wow, you're lucky. Your kids are so smart. They're so secure. 
They're so excited. They're amazing. How did you do that? It's like, it wasn't luck. Like, that's why my hair is gray. <laughs> so homeschooling Olympians, it's not for everybody. And I understand that, but I need you to know that it's here for you as a potential guide and partner. You know, it has the six week masterclass, but the secret of homeschooling Olympians is it has a group coaching weekly that's not on social media where we come together and we address what you have going on in homeschool so that you are never, ever, ever stuck. Just today, our group call was all about breaking free from curriculum, which is that's like the thing that you'll hear me say a lot. But then we turned it around and said, well, how do you use textbooks if you're somebody that loves the stability of curriculum? So we broke that all down into very achievable steps that will equip our homeschoolers with how they can actually use an actual textbook, but still sprinkle in all the fun. It was a magic phone call. So super fun. If you join homeschooling Olympians, look for the coaching call on March 19th, 2024. It is a must watch. It was so good. So that's it. So I'm going to invite you to number one, look at your kids and identify what stage they are in homeschool and make sure that your homeschooling is teaching to that stage. It's critical so that you don't lose your kids in stage two. The second thing is I want to make sure that you get a seat in our how to save homeschool kids from getting lost in middle school. It is a free class and it'll give you an, a better glimpse of how you can come alongside your kids and help them not only stay connected with you, but to truly fall in love with learning and get that unfair advantage in life that you're hoping to give them through homeschooling. So thanks for watching and hope to see you in that class soon. I'll be watching for your name.